Hi everyone, I'm Dianti. Today I'll be proposing a documentary proposal for my BCM 217 assessment 2. So for my proposal, the title of my documentary is A Life in the Garden. The synopsis story of my documentary will be Let us check out the Wollongong Botanic Garden because it is still alive in 2023. A Life in the Garden is a documentary film about the Wollongong Botanic Garden in the city of Wollongong and takes the viewers on a journey through the diverse landscape of Wollongong Botanic Garden. This documentary film lets you explore the rich history and the current situation of the botanical garden. Throughout the film, you will definitely learn about the various types of plants and animals that can be found in botanical gardens, as well as the importance of conservation and the vital role that botanical gardens play in presenting endangered plant species in the future. However, the most important part, the stunning cinematography and extensive information, A Life in the Garden is a fascinating and informative look at the natural world of Wollongong Botanic Garden that gives you an insight into the beauty and wonder that surrounded this place. So, is there any media work similar to this subject? Yes, there are. Based on my research about botanical garden, there are a few media works that are similar which are Club Botanical Garden Documentary and the New York Botanical Garden. Both of the media work involve interviews and the story history of the particular botanical garden. Next, why this documentary? In the documentary film Alive in the Garden, the goal is to raise awareness about conservation and the role botanical gardens play in protecting endangered plants. However, the Botanical Garden documentary can teach us viewers about the history and plants associated with it. Last but not least, it is also about entertaining audiences with visually stunning footage and interesting facts about this garden. However, for our audiences and viewers, the target audience for a life in the garden will be nature enthusiasts because they are very passionate about nature and enjoy being outdoors with plants, flowers and wildlife. Second is the families with children. Wollongong Botanic Garden provides a fun and educational experience for children and has interactive exhibits or activities for kids and even an all-abilities playground. Lastly, gardeners. Gardeners are the ones that love growing and cultivating plants and are always interested in seeing different types of gardens and plants. So these trees are our target audiences. Next to the creative part, the style. The visual building blocks of A Life in the Garden are the garden stories, the garden itself, archival material, music, and also boats. Now, let's talk about the first part, the garden stories. Using the history of the garden and following to show the scenario of the current situation in the garden in 2023. To let the audience know, even after all the history happened, the garden is still alive and filled with humans, animals, and the most important, plants. The second one, the garden itself. Using several different innovative forms of garden, plant, and even animal photography with different angles to bring out the meaning of the particular part so that the audience will know that it is alive. The video photo can be taken in slow motion and moving camera. All the videos of the scenario and the activity that the people did will be the most important visual memory of the documentary. For archival material, we can film footage of the Wollongong Botanic Garden directly at the location or even take some footage from the past at their website. However, for music, for this documentary, we will use music with soft cinematic featuring a little piano melody to bring out the cinematic feel of the documentary and the adventurous and tuners of the garden. With this kind of music, the audience will surely enjoy the scenery of the garden and have the urge to go picnic or even BBQ with their family and friends there. Lastly, for moods, a botanical garden documentary can enhance the viewer's appreciation of the beauty and wonder of plants by using poetic moods. In some way, the film's visuals and music encourage viewers to develop an emotional connection to the garden and the history itself. Through poetic language and visuals, a documentary can be more accessible and relatable to viewers. In addition, a botanical garden documentary can also use poetic mode in order to highlight the historical significance and cultural significance of the botanical garden. The poetic mode can enhance the film's emotional impact, making it more engaging, inspiring and memorable. After the style, let's talk about the Wollongong Botanic Garden. 
Wolongo Botanic Garden, this spectacular 30-hectare botanic garden, overlooks the city of Wollongong from its higher point at the Glenifer Brill Meadow House and features an impressive collection of native and exotic plants. It is distinguished by a few unique garden collections with their environmental characteristic and unique stories to tell. The garden is an important botanical, educational and cultural asset within Wollongong. The garden is committed to the conservation of native flora as demonstrated by a range of programs aimed at protecting and conserving rare and endangered local plant species. Over the years, new collections and features have been added to the garden and today it is one of Wollongong's most popular attractions for visitors and residents. As well as providing a place for people to enjoy nature, the Botanic Garden plays an important role in the conservation of plants. Last but not least, let me show you a short proof of concept. That's all from my proposal and this is my reference. Thank you!